Don't invest in a mobile phone. Um, this is something I'm not sure if I've actually talked about before, but it came up the other day when somebody I know is actually spending £45 a month on a contract for a mobile phone because it's the new S whatever Samsung. Now, I bought my wife the S3, uh, which is an older model, cost £109 cash. And uh, what's the differences between them? Because that, that, that's all I asked somebody. What is the difference? Then that's what you get. Um, they don't know. Because it's all marketing. Fact is, there's nothing on there that will make you want to buy it or need to buy it. Sorry, want is one thing. <laughs> there's nothing that makes you need to buy it. Fact is, it doesn't have anything that amazing. In fact, to the point that if it was for the camera, you could buy a good camera and bought a cheaper phone. Um, so, why buy it? Why put it on contract? That's the important bit. Why would you want to put it on contract where you're now stuck with a supplier for the next two years that may be naff? You can't get out of the contract. So, don't do it. If you're on a phone, Get one that's practical. I use my, my, I took my wife's phone and she's took mine. She's got the S3 and I've got the Galaxy Note 2, I think. Um, I did buy it new, but I bought it cash new when they brought out the new Note. Um, same as my tab is the Pro Plus when it had already been superseded by something else. So it's two, it was £200 instead of 400 So... You don't need to have the latest stuff. It has nothing of real value to it. But the money you waste on the, all this sort of stuff, it's like curved TVs. What's the advantage of it? Oh, you, you've got a better perspective. But is most of the stuff you're watching up to that quality? I don't think so. Have you got a skybox in HD for all that stuff? Paying extra for HD? Wasting money. Um, and that's why I say just don't get into this consumerism nonsense. If you want want it, pay for it with real money. If you can't pay for it with real money, do not get it on credit. Do not get it on a contract basis. You don't need contracts. People are making a fortune on people having everything on tick. Because what happens is you keep putting it off. You go, right, oh, I've only got three months to pay on this. And it, Oh, there's another new phone. Or, oh, I get, if I upgrade to this, I get something else. You don't need it. How much do I spend on my phone? The, uh, the mystery question is £10 a year. How do I do that? Because I don't actually use, I don't call people very often, to be honest. Um, work wise, I've got a work phone. Home wise, um, I use Skype. Which means I'm on data, so I'm not only calling from a hotel, I'm not only calling from um, my parents, or I'm at home in the Philippines, uh, in Spain, where I've actually got internet in the house. I do not have it on my mobile phone unless I really need it. Um, for example, if I'm going to be in the desert for two months, I might buy a local SIM with internet access because it's the only way I'm able to communicate with home but I do not tie myself into a 12 to 18 month to two year contract. Uh, I get the same. Now, when you start working the way I do, which is aggressively pushing all those people that try and sell you something away, in a short period of time, you start to realize you've got something you didn't have before. It's called money. Um, you don't have car payments. You don't have uh, 10 different invoices coming in every month for things that you don't really need. Um, if you've got satellite TV, um, you, you may have a payment that you negotiate. You might say, well, I don't want it. Um, and I, I did this and I taught my father to do exactly the same. And a friend of mine also did it with, this is with Sky. Tom, just cancel it. 
Eh? But you've been with us for years. Yeah, it's fifty pounds a month though. Well, hang on a minute, let me transfer you. Hello? This is customer service. Yeah, yeah. Here you want to cancel you can Yeah, um I can't afford it. As soon as you say those words, they will negotiate with you. Um I got mine down to I think it went down from fifty to nineteen ninety nine. Because the, they are aware, if they lose you as a customer, you ain't coming back. Mobile phone companies are going to be weird at the moment, the way they're setting up their content. I'm not sure what's going on with them. I think a lot of people have become so gullible that they need them, that they assume that they don't have to do a lot of work. I think the mobile phone contracts are slightly different, where people are like, oh, you know, there is less and less freebies involved doesn't mean you have to accept it um, that's why I just have the sim they're not tied to the phone they haven't supplied it don't like the quality of the service I just throw the sim away and get another one different company less headaches get into a contract you're stuck with them for two years um, just did the same in the Philippines we just got rid of a internet provider and they're like why are you cancelling well, it hasn't worked properly for months, and the contract's now expired, so we're kicking you out. Now, if I could do pay as you go, I wouldn't have even been stuck with them, but I got rid of them ages ago. So, I do get stuck with it sometimes, but sometimes you have to do it. But the key to it is, um, I'm in Spain I've been collared with it. Um, I've got uh, Movie Star, which is some of the worst internet I've ever had. Um, do I grumble about it? That's about as much as I grumble about it. They did a good sales pitch. They promised me 10 meg, didn't deliver it. But they're meeting their contractual obligations because it's up to. So what do I do? I just go, okay, cancel it in November. And uh, they'll be, what? Canceling? Yeah, just cancel it. I'll let you know now because when you say yeah, you give me partial month notice or whatever so you can have another month. It's already cancelled. You've had plenty of time. I'll give you a three months notice or whatever. Because there's no point in arguing with them. They spend all day writing these clauses and with good lawyers and everything else. The key to it is not buying into it in the first place. Movie Star, I needed the internet when I first got to Spain. That was the one that was recommended as being available because Telefonica is one of the biggest companies in Spain. I just didn't realise realize at the time how bad they were. Um, but I'm not really grumbling because I'll replace them. At the same time, I've got a landline as well. Um, where I go with a uh, telesat type company, I don't get the landline, um, which can be quite useful for dealing with stuff locally. So swings around about stuck with it. I'm overpaying by about 20 euros a month. Slap on the wrist for me for getting talked into it. But you live and learn. So we all do it. And that's what the whole point is. You should aggressively try and avoid getting tied into any contract. Because more and more companies are trying to do it. Um, and it's gone from 12, year, 12 months to 18 to 24 months in some cases now. Just don't buy into it. If you can find another way, do it. If you can get away without it, do without it. Try and get rid of any excess costs. You just do not need them. And you'll find if you start having the cash instead of the invoices for payment, eventually you can go, I want a new phone. And you just wander in and go, I'll have that one. Do you want to pay? Do you want it on contract? No, I'll take that one. I'll pay cash. And like, like new cars, I highly recommend not buying the latest model. Go for the one that was last year's, last six months, or even second hand. Because at the end of the day, somebody else has paid the cost already. Uh, there's no reason for us to be the mug that is keeping the, the wheels turning in, over, overpaying for things. Alright, thanks for watching.